Hello, in this video we'll be covering the data-driven database write strategy transformation. Uh, first of all, the database uh, or the data-driven database write strategy transformation is a data set transformation, uh, which means that the record must flow entirely through this transformation. You cannot have maps going around it or you'll uh, result in an in, uh, invalid uh, data map. The data-driven transformation is a transformation that allows the author of the data flow to stamp a database directive onto the record so that when it gets to the target, a data, specifically a database writer, the writer will follow that directive and perform that database operation. Uh, for example, if I preview the data here, you can see that I have uh, the last column here, write strategy action, being delete for the first uh, for employee ID 1 and for employee ID 3 I am doing updates and for the rest of them I'm also doing updates. So this directive is, was, de was determined by this component and here you can see this last column write strategy action is not part of the layout and is not part of the data of the record. It's part of the metadata of the record now or ad additional information uh, about the record. So in this case, uh, I have stamped this directive so that this uh, target will, will follow it. Now, this uh, the way this uh, the way this was assigned was through the properties of the component here. So if I open them up and move past the layout, you can see that uh, I have the rules list here, which is, should look familiar if you're familiar with any of the other components in Centerprise. So the way this works is we have the rule list, the, the grid at the top, and depending on which row I select, I am editing a different rule uh, on the bottom editor here. So the columns of this grid, of course, are the description, expression, uh, action type, and whether or not it's active. Uh, the description here at the bottom for this one is just uh, to the descriptive purposes, does, does not appear in the layout anywhere. Uh, the active, uh, I can turn on and off uh, rules by clicking on this checkbox here. The expression here at the bottom is the logic that the record must adhere to in order for this rule to, uh, in order for it to pass this rule and then apply this database uh, directive. So if, as you can see here, uh, when the year, the higher date is less than 1997 or it's older than 1997, I'm going to go ahead and delete that record. Likewise, if the marital status is M, I'm going to go ahead and update that record. Now, one thing to note here is that the order of these rules uh, matters. So, for example, in the first one, uh, I'm checking to see if the year is before 1997. If, I'm to fl if I were to flip these rules, you can see what happens. So I'm going to say now I'm going to check for married, uh, or the marital status equals M first, click OK, and now if I preview my data, you can see that employee ID is no longer deleting, it's now updating because it also met that marital status equals M rule. So if I change that back to the checking the date first, you can see that I have the delete write strategy action being applied instead of the update. So now uh, now I'll show you how that these rules, there are these actual um, these directives, are handled by the database writer. So in order to use these directives, you have to go into the writer and select single port follow update strategy directive. If not, then you're manually com controlling whether to insert, update, delete, and so on. So if you want to make use of the data-driven uh, component you must select single port to follow the update strategy directive. So now I'll give you a brief uh, example of how to use the data-driven uh, strategy from scratch. So I'm going to go to the toolbox, look under the database write strategy section, drag and drop the data-driven uh, component, and first thing you'll notice is I have a blank layout. Uh, I have to fill out the layout. I can do so by filling out in the properties, but I'm just going to go ahead and auto map it by dragging, dragging and dropping the bolded node here. And I'm going to auto map the destination as well. So uh, now I'm going to configure it by either double clicking or right, select, right clicking and selecting properties. Uh, I've already configured the layout. One thing I am going to do though is change salaried flag to a boolean 
rather than an integer. And click, uh, whoops, and then click next. Uh, and now I'm going to write my rules. So my first rule will be salaried employees update. And I'm going to want this to be an update. I want this to be active rule. And I'm going to say when the salaried flag equals true. So as long as the record uh, adheres to this rule, it will apply uh, the update flag. Now I'm going to add me another rule. And I'm going to say no single people allowed. Make this active. And, and now I'm going to select the error. And when I do that, you'll see that I have an error message text box up here. No singles. And I'm going to say marital status. Actually, for this one, I'm going to use the expression editor. Go into the tree. Marital status equals S. So if it if this rule is encountered, this uh, this record with this criteria is encountered, we are going to flag that with an error. Uh, and keep in mind that I can again move the, these records, uh, move these rules up and down. Order is very important. And if I have a rule I don't want, I can just click on it, that selected rule, and click the delete button. So uh, now I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to preview my data. And here you see that we have a couple of records, uh, some in error and some I'm updating, depending on the content of the record and the order of the rule. Uh, a couple of things to note. Uh, that what if the what if n uh, none of the, what if the record doesn't match any of the rules? Those records are implicitly uh, filtered out and skipped, so you'll see none of those records uh, in this set. So this uh, for those records, this becomes a filter. Uh, other thing to note is that this write strategy action is stamped onto the record and survives as long as the record uh, is active throughout the data flow. So for example, uh, if I unhook this one here and put another transformation in between. Let's put a filter in between. Uh, let's actually fill it out first. Go to the expression, and I'm just going to write true to just pass it through. And pass it on there. And I'm going to preview the target here. So when I preview the target, you can still see that I still have the errors, and in the last column, I still have the right strategy action. So no matter how many transformations I put the record through, at, wherever I put the stamp on, it'll survive until it gets to the database writer, where it will perform one of these actions. Uh, and that's the database, or the data-driven right strategy transformation.